Hello there and welcome back to another Thunders Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another fun tutorial. This tutorial is based on my boxcar and is used with the rest of my freight train. So be sure to check out my other tutorials on all the other cars. I've got an auto rack, tankers, flat cars, gondolas, and hoppers. And there's the Dash 9 engine, which pulls it, and then I've got a caboose, a ca uh, caboose? <laughs> a caboose that goes along with it. Uh, but this tutorial, we're going to be concentrating on the boxcar. And because we have a lot of different woods in Minecraft, which is very rare <laughs> to have so many of choices to build this out of, uh, I'm going to be using spruce and, and then an off color of oak. So you want to mix and match on these however you wish. But anyways, this is the design that we're going to be building right here. And uh, this is kind of like a vented, a vented version for like livestock, um, cows and all that kind of stuff, which they don't really use anymore because uh, it's not cost effective. So they, they truck them now, I guess, according to the wiki. But anyways, let's look at some of the other designs really, really quick. And uh, this is with the dark wood. I think that looks pretty good. And then it gets into these other weird kind of colors. And then the Arcasia or whatever, however you say it. Um, which doesn't look too awful bad, but we're, we are going to be building this version down here. And we're going to find an empty spot down here on the track as soon as I get down there. And we are going to get started. So again, I've got all my different wood variables. I've got a hopper and I've got bedrock for the wheels. So we're going to just drop down right here. And we're going to go ahead and set up the wheels just like this. And then we're going to take the wood that we're going to be using, again, the main color, and we're going to put three in the back, and then one in between, run it up through just like that, and then bring this out by two, and bring this out by two. Put your hopper over top of the bedrock, just like that, and then we've got 17 spaces in between. So I'm just going to grab me an off color of something here. Let's do a blue just so we can see, and we'll get rid of this when we're done. We need 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and make sure that you have exactly 17. Now this will not come out right. All right, so go ahead and put your wheels down here, and then go back to your slabs and bring those through. Nope, out here, three on the back, two coming out like this. And then your hoppers, just like that. And then destroy our holding blocks in the middle. All right, next layer, we're going to go ahead and grab our wood. And right over top our hopper, we're going to put our planks. And we're going to go forward by three. Same thing over here, just like that. And then on the back side of that, it gets an upside down stairs. And then solid planks in between that, just like that right there. All right, coming forward using our slabs, we're going to have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to switch to our off color. We should have five. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to our regular color. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And it should stop right there because that's where we have our three blocks. And then three across the back here. And then three across, whoops, the hoppers. Right here is where we need it. And then our upside down stairs on the back just like that, and then do the same thing going down the other side. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Next color, one, two, three, four, five. And then back one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. And then fill in the middle with your solid planks. All right, off of each corner, let's start back down here. It just makes it a lot easier coming back to a, a nice starting reference point. Right off the corner here, we're going to build up by four. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to do that to all the corners. Do four. And then right next to the door, one, two, three, four. And here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then we're going to skip a spot and then go one, two, three, and four and then build that up and then right across from that same thing and then down here skip one and do four and over here Just 
All right, that is the framing for the box car. Now at this point, if you want it vented, you're going to use slabs. If you want it solid, you're going to use your stairs. So in other words, if you want to have it closed off, you're going to put in your stairs just like that all the way around the box car except where the door is. We'll get to that here in just a minute, which is pretty much going to be the same thing except for we're going to be using the slabs. I'm going to do the vented version. So what you want to do is you want to be on the upper hit box all the way around so it'll stop right there. And the same thing here, upper hit box and just continue around on each of these until you've got it filled in. And we'll skip the door for right now. And same thing on the ends. All right, when you reach the top, just go ahead and put another layer of slabs over the top over across your door oh, you fish. all right just like that and then we're gonna fill the roof in with your solid planks all right just like that and all right for our doors you can either leave them completely open like that or you can go ahead and take your off color and put them in upside down stairs just like this and same thing on the other side and if you want to go ahead and put the top piece in you can do that or you can make it closed if it's a vented version for livestock just like that or if it's a solid version obviously you're gonna turn all your stairs upside down in the middle so you've got your outside one just let these turn just like that and then go ahead and fill in this with a solid piece and you can get rid of the corners if you want to just like that and your door is shut and then of course the rest of your uh, box car will be solid so that is it that is the box car design really simple really easy hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up for me like always i appreciate you watching remember rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later